Uh, I've got a big herd here. Should have a few respawns in there. From earlier, we do. We have a 141 to 169, level 4. Oh my goodness. 179 to 208. Okay, that's the biggest one we've seen. 208 is a diamond, by the way. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to New Zealand, Tiawaroa National Park. We are here. It is day one of the creator beta. I am so, so happy to be able to share this with you guys. I had so much fun in the streams. I have to say a big thank you to Expansive Worlds for allowing me to have this opportunity to be a part of the creator beta and to be able to share this with you today. I had so much fun in the streams, like I said. Uh, and this is just some highlights, uh, some recordings that I've done. Basically, a first look at all of the new species that have been added to the game, uh, as well as some first impressions, uh, my thoughts on the map. Here in day one, I am currently atop the highest peak on the map. Mount Tarahore, I think is how you would say that. Uh, Scarecrow and myself decided that we would uh, try to scale to the highest point of the map, and this is it. How breathtaking is this, you guys? <laughs> oh my gosh, it took us about... Uh, about 40 minutes to get up here. Took the ATVs down uh, as fast as we could a bunch of times. Got a tent down so that we could just come back up quickly, but lots of fun. We had so much fun today in the streams. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please be sure to leave a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I do stream every day, seven days a week. I also post videos four to five times a week, but in December with the new map, I'm probably going to be uploading videos probably every day maybe sometimes twice a day i also stream sometimes twice a day uh also join the discord we have a growing discord community we are pushing for 3k subs by the end of 2020 and i think we can do it we're on the road to 3k how breathtaking is this you guys you can see so much like uh, it's just take this in for a sec before we jump into the video but uh without further ado guys i hope you enjoy this video Ooh, that is a nice four that's a really nice four 162 to 203 one of the bigger ones that we've seen today. Um, I can't remember what diamond requirement is for these guys. I don't think he's a diamond potential. I don't think so, but that's a really nice one. Can't tell what fur type that one is yet, but we're going to close in. We've also got, we've got another drink zone right here. I can see a couple females. That's it. There is a little ridge there. There could be some more deer in behind, tucked in behind there, but we'll... Uh, we're gonna move in on this four for sure and uh, get a shot. Where did he go? Somewhere back there anyway. We'll move in and close this gap. All right, so we got a bunch of female Sika deer as well coming in here, a bunch of does. Uh, I need to relocate that four. He's somewhere back there, but I think now that I've shifted to the right, he's actually now behind a tree and we don't actually have a line of sight. So we need to relocate him here. We might shift left just a little bit. Okay, there he is. So he's over to the right from this group of females here. So right there. We're going to not take our eye off of him this time. He's about 315 meters out, but we're going to close in. Try to close that just a little bit. I mean, we could go for the long distance shot. And uh, maybe we will. So for the Sika Deer, I've been using the 303. The 303 is incredible, guys. I am so impressed. It is a 4 to 8 class rifle with five rounds uh has better accuracy and better recoil than the m1 just a little bit slower a little bit uh slower firing rate um which is the only uh downside but all in all it, i think it is the better gun it also sounds incredible you guys you guys have to hear this we're gonna wait for him to put his head down one more time and then when he raises up we'll go for the shot we'll zero in for 300 and we should be good Try to get a heart shot here. I think we were a little bit off, but my gosh. How about the sound of that gun? Oh my goodness. So we landed a second shot, and I think we did get long on that one. He's going to go down. So yeah, the streams today were amazing, you guys. Thank you to everybody who came out. They were such a good time. We found a lot of cool animals. We found every species. Uh, we didn't find a ton of chamois, but we did see a couple big fours. 
Uh, we saw a few different fur types, saw lots of feral goats. We did manage to find a mixed fur type. That's one of the fur variations. Uh, there is our downed sea kid here though. Big, huge four. But yeah, it was so much fun, you guys. We did two separate streams. I think I streamed for like just about eight hours, but at one point we had like 150 people in the stream. Uh, so yeah, big thanks to you guys. It was such a good time and uh, I appreciate all the support. And so that's that herd over there. I think it is all does in there. I don't think we've got any males hanging out in that herd. There is a couple. Okay, they're in further behind too. With these herds, I'm noticing, especially with the Seeker Deer, but with the feral goats too, you really got to look. A lot of times they're, they're quite far back from the water's edge as they drink. So you really got to glass. See, there's more. You got to You can't just look across uh, the edge of where the uh, the water meets the land there you gotta look back into the trees like they can be way in back in the back there but uh this lake has been really good this uh under the bay of rest this lake that kind of it's almost like an inlet in from the ocean here uh really good for sika deer tons of zones but also for feral goats too i've got a feral goat zone here and here and also up here so at like the kind of the end of the lake towards the ocean there. Ooh, we've got another four, 123 and 164. So that estimate is significantly lower than this guy that we took down. He went up to 201. And this guy still looks like a bit of a stud. Like he's got a nice rack on him, nice and tall. He's got the forks going, looks like an eight pointer. So we'll probably put him down too, but our guy is right here. So yeah, that guy is about 175 out. We will probably take a shot. Got the 303, zero it for 150. Take a shot. Looks like this guy might be one of the darker fur types. This, that's, I mean, that's another one of the really cool things that we're seeing. Uh, we're seeing a lot of different fur variations for the Sika deer, the chamois, the feral pigs, the feral goats, pretty much everything. Um, lots of different uh, common fur variations. It's very cool. Um, like not even seeing a quote unquote common fur variation, but rather uh, just a bunch of different names of fur variations that are all common, which is really cool. And I would really love to see more of that. All right. So here is a Sika deer number one that we took down on the run. I think that first shot might have been a little bit far right for what we were going for. But the second shot seemed to do it. But I mean, look at the racks on these guys. Just absolutely stunning. Uh, they look really cool. It's almost like a mix of red deer and axe deer is kind of how I would describe it. The way they look. But let's take a look. This guy scores a 168.6. And I saw this. This happened a few times in the stream. 300 meters out. The 303 doesn't seem to be getting enough penetration for that kind of a shot. Otherwise, otherwise we had that lung, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, but that second shot, we hit intestines. And uh, yeah, so we don't get the full score on that one. But that's fine. Would have been a 168.6. That's the black fur type quite dark really nice rack on that guy and then we got this guy as well with another awesome looking rack uh this guy's a 162.5 wow he's actually a gold um and he is quite a stud and we got double lung and heart on that shot he's the brown fur type very similar looking to the black fur type but yeah they look nice really happy with how they look Ooh, okay we've got our first feral goats out here we've got a 170 to 198 right off the bat and as you can see they're tucked way in there too. So you really gotta look, I can't say it enough. You really gotta look. You gotta dig into these trees. We got some more goats out there, all these different fur types. There's another four, 147 to 175. Wow, 170 to 198. Yeah, this guy is an absolute stud and he's right there, 150 out perfectly. And we're not gonna reload, we're not gonna do nothing. He looks like he's the white fur type. They are absolutely gorgeous just absolutely stunning and i shot it with the wrong gun and i was doing that all stream you guys they are a class three animal uh at least i remember this time a little bit too late but i remember it i gotta be pulling out the mosin for these guys they are a class three animal so uh i was doing that all day in the stream kept shooting them with the the 303 uh, Got to get used to the fact that they are a class three animal. I'm just so used to shooting, uh, you know, ibex and that with uh, and mountain goats, with the uh, with a four to eight class weapon. 
We're going to take out that 4 too as well. 147 to 175 eventually. But this guy's going to come right in. It's just a one trivial female. And look at the size of it. They are just stunning. Just absolutely stunning. And straight down there. Uh, the gun sounds have been improved. They sound absolutely incredible. Uh, huge improvements to the way the guns sound. Uh, I don't know if they've done it with every gun, but the Mosin, definitely, there's something different about it. It sounds just so good. The way it uh, fades, there's its bass here. In English, please. Uh, the 303 is the best sounding gun in the game, bar none. But they are one of the species that I am extremely excited to see uh, as a level 5 because they are just absolutely breath breathtaking. They really are. Okay, so which is which here? This is going to be, that's gonna be the one trivial. So that is the white fur variation there. And we got the left lung and the heart there from 102.93 meters with the Mosin. And that's what the smaller ones look like. Now take a look, take a look at how majestic these gorgeous creatures are. Uh, they're like some kind of mythical beast. I mean, one of the coolest looking models, if not the coolest looking model in Call of the Wild. I mean, look at the horns on them. Uh, it's just, they just look absolutely stellar. Look at the beard on this thing. I mean, it is just breathtaking. It really is. This guy scores a 176.9. Would have been a gold, but we shot it with the 303. And that is another white fur type. But, uh, I mean... They couldn't look much better. They really couldn't. They are just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Uh, I've got a big herd here. Should have a few respawns in there. From earlier, we do. We have a 141 to 169, level 4. Oh my goodness. 179 to 208. Okay, that's the biggest one we've seen. 208 is a diamond, by the way. We got a couple other studs in there for sure. But that's our focus. Look at the size of the horns on that thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, it's just wild how cool these look. Uh, and then these are going to start to render in as well. I mean, look at all the goats out here. It's just crazy. There's another four, 117 to 146. On my map, I have fallow deer all the way down that river on this side, all the way down to the bridge. Just tons of them. But anyways, we need to focus because we need to shoot that guy. We don't want to mess it up. So we're going to do it with the Mosin. This guy's technically a diamond potential. I believe it's 208.5 for a diamond. So let's see if we can get to 150. So we can zero for 150 here. Uh, we'll probably do it from 200. That'd be fine. If you could just, just move a few inches to your right. Okay, that'll work actually. We'll just, we'll time it out so that her head goes down, his head, his head goes up. We'll, uh, that's what we're gonna do. Easy enough. Right there would have been good, but we're not going to rush it. There we go. Okay, here he is. Here is our stud that's not going to make diamond. I do not believe that's big enough to make diamond, but hopefully... Do, do, do. I'm going to say 195. He's not as big as I thought he was. He's a nice one. But I don't believe that's big enough from what I've seen to make diamond. So 195 is my guess. 185 so right at the bottom right at the very bottom of that estimate but he's a nice one we got double lung heart on that shot so that was clutch that is the white fur type uh that's our biggest one so far i believe so we're gonna taxi that they look just crazy good oh i can't get over it Ooh, okay 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 we got pigs okay they are resting so we can see a couple of these spotted fur variations right there what else do we got what else do we got that one looks like it might be the brown hybrid. Black brown hybrid, I think it's called. Don't know if the, I think the spotted ones come in male and female. I feel like most of the spotted ones that I'm seeing try for it. Now they are class four, so we can use the 303 on them safely. Oh, hit the tree there. Well, we got one down anyway. We might have gotten that second one. I'm not sure. But we'll get a look at this, uh, this spotted guy here. And here she is. She went down 
next to this little tree here, but how cool do these look? Oh my goodness. They are just gorgeous. They really are. Um, I mean, <laughs> they are fantastic. Black spots is the fur type. We got the left lung there, 47.9. So you need 144.2 for a diamond. And I don't think I've even seen a level four. And uh, Scarecrow and I actually saw a bunch in multiplayer. A lot of pigs and we did not see a level four. So hopefully we'll see one soon. But yeah, they do look just fantastic. And there goes. There goes one of the survivors, one of the uh, one of the escapists there. Let's see if we can take that down. That looks like the black brown hybrid or brown hybrid. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Let's see if we can take that guy down. And shot was good. Looks like we got a lung. So we'll go check out another fur type here of these uh, these feral pigs. All right, and this guy. This is one of this is probably my second favorite fur variation for these guys. Uh, brown hybrid is what it's called. My favorite, I think, is the black gold. They look so cool. We got left long on this guy. 196.6 meters out on the trot. Caught that lung. This guy scores a 65.6, so they get much, much bigger. This guy is 104.46 kilos. So these things get absolutely massive. Absolutely monstrous. Okay, so we have got a chamois at least one they are drinking out here uh i actually this is a really good lake uh lake wakaiti lake wakaiti i've got four chamois shamo chamois chamois i'm gonna say chamois chamois drink zones one two three four on the west side of this lake uh, i just checked these two they aren't there for whatever reason uh but uh we've got a guy right here hopefully we've got some more as we work our way up north I've also got a feral goat drinking zone here from 10 to 1300. So Shammy drank from 430 to 830. And we've got a level three very easy up there. Now these are a class three animal as well. So we have to use the Mosin for these guys. Oh, we've got another one up here. I didn't see that guy. Three, very easy, another one. Very cool. So maybe they're just coming in a little bit late. That might be you know what? I think that's a leucistic chamois. Uh-huh, I do. I think that's a leucistic. It is. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. That is so cool. Hopefully we don't hit that tree. I'm going to go for the shot. Don't know about that second shot, but he is going down. And I do believe that's a leucistic. Maybe an albino? He's going down too. I don't know how that shot went. We might not have got a vital. It felt a little bit weird. But we've definitely got some kind of rare fur type chamois out there. That is super cool. There is just so much fun to be had. And so much to be um, enjoyed when it comes to this map. It really is just a pleasure. Uh, it is so beautiful. I don't want to, you know, you don't want to show everything in the first video. But there is so much to show you guys. So many different areas, so much beautiful scenery. Um, you know, it's just an absolutely gorgeous map. I couldn't be happier. I've spent like literally 12 hours playing today and I could keep going. Like I could play all night long, um, but I won't. I'll get some sleep so that we can do this again tomorrow. But yeah, so stoked for what's to come uh, with this map. We have so much to share with you guys, so much to show you. And uh, it's just, it's gonna be awesome. So, so grateful to have this opportunity to, uh, to get an early look and to, to, to share this uh, experience with you guys. But okay, so we've got, that looks like, oh my gosh, I think a leucistic. Uh, let's pick up this guy first. That's a gray brown. I don't think I've actually seen one of those. So all kinds of different fur variations for, for the common animals on this map. And it's really cool. 35.4. That guy's a silver. We got left lung there from 223.54 meters out with the Mosin. Very cool. Very, very cool. And then we've got what looks like a leucistic chamois. I'm going to say, I think that's leucistic. It is leucistic. And it's a three very easy. Scores a 42.3. How cool is that? Very, very cool. We got left lung and left radius ulna there right through the arm and got the lung. 222 yard shot.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and drop a like on this video. I appreciate it and it really does help the channel so much. If you're new around here or you just haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. We have some awesome content on the way as well as streams every day. So please consider hitting that like button. Feel free to join the Discord. I'm going to leave the link down below in the description as well as the link to my Patreon account. Be safe, take care, and I will see you guys in the next one.